Hey y'all, it's Amy, back with more recipes. Um, today's recipe is actually a German chocolate cake. I'm making it for my husband and his mother. They're having a thing today. They're, um, it's an anniversary of theirs, so that's what they wanted, so that's what they're getting. So let's get started. Everyone, welcome to low boil. So now, I'm just gonna stir it until it's ready. It'll thicken up and do its thing, and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so I'm gonna do three egg yolks. Not the whole egg, just the yolks. Okay. Put it in half. And then this is how my mom taught me to do this. Let's just kinda flip it back and forth until you get most of the white gone. And if the yolk pops, it's okay. But once you got that white gone, put it in the bowl. Okay, so we're just getting our ingredients ready. We already have uh, half a cup of light brown sugar, slightly packed, but not totally packed. Half a cup of white sugar. And we're gonna start, get our evaporated milk. Just use our little church key thingamadoodle, bottle opener, whatever you want to call it. Pop it open. You gotta do it on both sides so that it doesn't bubble and bloop and get a messy. We got that. And this is going to be, how much did it say? <sighs> Three quarters of a cup. So this can is five ounces, so it's close-ish. A little over half. All right. So let me see if I got some. Okay. So next we have our our uh, pan pot pot getting heated up. Put in the sugars. Both the sugars. Evaporated milk. butter I just cut mine you don't have to cut yours up if you don't want to I do because it makes it easier for me and your three egg yolks yay put it all in there okay here's the Just to get every little bit of that egg yolk because it's an inexact science. So this we're gonna stir to combine it. I'm gonna combine it all. Now the butter is not supposed to be melted, which is kind of weird, but I guess because you're heating it up, you don't need to. So, but once everything is combined and melted together. We're gonna let that boil for a bit for, what's this paper say? Uh, bring it to a low boil over medium heat and stir constantly until it thickens. Recipes are great. Okay, so just gonna stir it so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Get it all Connected and stop doing that. Really? Is that better? You like that? There. Sometimes this thing can be temperamental. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Found another can. A bigger can. Um, in the back of the pantry. Thank goodness it is still good. So, it says shake well. Shook it. Shake, 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 shake. And uh, same thing as the last one, double pop so that it does not get gross. And fill into three quarters. 
which is right about there. Figure out what to do with that later. So next thing we have for the, what we're doing first is the frosting so that it can cool off before we actually make the cake. What the fuck? So, let's see. Got our sugars, our butters over there. We got our, let's get our vanilla. Which is a tablespoon of vanilla. You can use any kind of vanilla you like. Personally, I like Mexican vanilla just because it's got more flavor to it, but whatever you want to use. Tablespoon of vanilla. Okay. Then we got to get our egg yolks. So when you know it's thick enough is when you stir and it doesn't seem to really like move a whole lot. So it's getting there. We're almost there. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and call this thickened. Cool. Turn off your fire. Get your spoon. Turn off the fire or remove it off the burner completely if you're using an electric oven or stove. Then pour in your vanilla. Now part of what makes German chocolate German chocolate is oddly enough coconut and pecans like chopped pecans so this is seven ounces of coconut it says a cup but that's about it's good enough so you stir that in pretty good okay Alrighty, so that's stirred in real well. The vanilla is all stirred in good. Next is the chopped pecans. And again, it says a cup. So we're just going to put a six ounce bag of them in there. Dump it in. And stir that together. gonna be really weirdly thick just because of the nuts and the coconut and stuff but it'll work trust me all right so there is German chocolate frosting for your German chocolate cake I did this first so that it can cool while we're doing the cake part. So we're gonna move that over there and get started on the other part. Okay guys, so next what we're gonna do is make this cake part of the cake while the frosting is cooling off. So like a lot of cakes and cookies and stuff, they have you um, doing separate bowls of the wet and dry ingredients. So for this one, it's doing it. So we're gonna have the sugar, flour, cocoa, baking powder, baking soda, and salt in one bowl, and then the egg, vanilla, buttermilk, all the rest of that stuff in this in another bowl. Okay. So I need space on the counter. Right. I'm gonna do the dry ingredients first just because I like to do that. So we need one three-quarter cup of flour. Flour. That's one and two thirds. Yeah. Okay, 
and there's our flour. I got too much. Not exact science. A lot of times. Then two cups of sugar. White sugar, green leaf sugar, not powder sugar. Let's get our two cups here. half cup Two cups of sugar. Boop. Okay, so now we have three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. I really should just start having that thing ready. Cocoa powder. Um I just use whatever's cheapest just because budgeting and stuff. And it's okay. It's kind of all the same. You know, sometimes they're cut with like flour or whatever, but it's cool. And if you're very, very new to baking, do not, do not try the cocoa powder. it is not sweet it is bitter it's unsweetened chocolate powder is what this is Cocoa powder. And then it calls for baking powder, baking soda. How old is this stuff? Does it matter? Spoons of each. Teaspoon. Okay, so I'm going to put the baking powder in first. Soda. Now we need the halves. Soda. Okay. 
soda. Half powder. Miss, I know I should have these ready to go, but whatever. You're not gonna have them ready to go, so I'm not gonna have them ready to go. Cool? Cool. It works. Okay, so is that ah, salt. So it says teaspoon salt. Now if you wanna get like super technical with it, you can measure it with a teaspoon. But like, if you don't, you wanna use your hand, it's a lot, so. Teaspoon. Okay, so that. Just gonna kinda mix it up a bit, get it nice, mixed. Okay, and then we can move on to our wet stuff, which is oil, eggs, buttermilk, and a cup of boiling water and vanilla. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's get. Rest of it made, then we'll do the water. Shut up. Okay. So, now whenever they say oil, they mean vegetable oil, canola oil, something like that. Not olive oil, not flax seed oil, or whatever the crap. Vegetable oil. So, to half a cup of this. Yes. Here it is. There's my half a cup of oil. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put that in there. And now cup. Good one, want to kind of shake it before you pour it in. So, how much is it left in here? Cool, about half. Okay, and pour the rest of it in. That cup of buttermilk into the water. Into the oil, into the bowl. Cab it. Some people like to drink buttermilk. I do not. Just because, ew. I'm gonna get um, two eggs. Look how that sits. Cool. Egg. Egg. Okay, let me get the water for the oil for the. <clears throat> okay, let's boil the water. Okay, so the water's in the microwave boiling because it's faster and it works. We're gonna put two teaspoons of vanilla. One ish, two cool. There's our boiling water. Oh, yeah, it's boiled. Okay, put this straight in there. Jesus, read a little bit. 
put this together. Uh, aha! Water is after the rest of the stuff. Okay, so we got the vanilla. Eggs, buttermilk, oil, vanilla. Cool. Done. Ugh, now, add wet to dry and mix. So, all this stuff goes in here. Now, if it doesn't say add a little bit at a time or whatever, don't worry about it because... It'll get mixed in there, it's fine. Yeah, this is brilliant. <sighs> Using a whisk to do this was not the most brilliant idea in the world. So, yeah, just mix it together however you want and then add the boiling water. Okay, guys, got it mixed. So let's add this super boiling water. Whee! Oh, that's fun. That's super fun. Just gonna lightly do this. It looks really terrible right now, I promise. It's gonna look good. It's gonna be really thin looking, but that's just how it's going to be. Small, small movements. So as not to splash yourself with boiling water. Okay, now it's getting better. Okay, now your oven should be at 375. And this recipe says two eight or nine inch round baking pans. Now, uh, a lot of people will cut baking, uh, parchment paper to put in the bottom of their pan. I don't, I just don't like taking the time. So I use this kind of stuff. Um, it's basically flour and, and, and grease that you put, that you spray on the pan. Um, used to, there's one that I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's got a blue cap and it's a white bottle. And it's called Baker's something or other. I don't know, but it's the best stuff, but they didn't have that. So I got the pan. I'm sure my mother could tell me what it is, but she's not here right now. Okay. <laughs> so let's get our pans that I have sprayed with the stuff. I kind of just wiped it around in the pan just to make sure it was even as much as possible. So these are these are eight inches. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put them in these pans. How's this gonna do in two pans? It says two, so okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Handy helper. What? I need a spoon, please. Or a spatula, actually. Spatula! Because I have handy helper. Thank you.
Yes, you just heard my child say, I love you, Dad, which is awesome. It's super cool. Okay. So. Ugh. It's all nice and pretty gonna look cool. Okay. If anybody says no, just takes it because there's a raw egg in it. You know what? I've been doing that my whole life and it's never hurt anything. So these are gonna be in the oven for 25 or 35 minutes but um, after 25 check with a toothpick in the middle doop, and see so we're gonna bake them hey everyone here is the finished cake it's kind of ugly but it looks like it'll be tasty it's got the layers and the coconut frosting we made so have some Enjoy your evenings and uh, enjoy the German chocolate.